So we're going to take a look at a manual transmission pedal assembly and I have one here out of the car. It is missing the gas pedal but you have your brake pedal and your clutch pedal. So what we're going to look at is the clutch pedal and uh, if you're uh, learning how to drive or you're going to learn how to drive uh, this will help you understand what you're doing when you press the pedal down especially when you're starting your car you don't got to be uh, know too much uh, mechanical knowledge to understand what is going on here and what you need to do if uh, something is not working and uh, let's flip this over on its side so here's the assembly on its side and here is your clutch pedal this is where your foot would go and you would press down the pedal to uh, disengage the clutch and you would release it to engage the clutch so it's a pretty simple concept that uh, most people grasp very quickly so if you look at the top here you see a hook uh, on the top of this uh, assembly and when you press the pedal down the hook moves forward when you release it the hook moves back under your dashboard uh, a rod will connect to this hook and without getting too technical it will go under the hood and uh, that connects to your transmission so what is happening is you press in the clutch pedal this hook moves forward pulling on the rod and that disengages your clutch. You release your clutch pedal, the hook goes backwards and that engages your clutch. Now this is the clutch travel. That is the amount of uh, the distance from the top to the floor where it stops. that this pedal moves. So in uh, future videos when I refer to travel you can uh, remember this, that is the distance from the top to the bottom. Top to the bottom. Because all of this distance is used when learning how to drive a clutch car. This isn't an on off switch. So it's not on off, on off. There is a lot of uh, at work you do near the floor or it might be near the middle or near the top of this pedal travel so keep that in mind uh, in the next video where we'll talk about that a common problem people have when learning how to drive stick is understanding uh, why they need to press their clutch pedal to the floor to start the car so let's take a look at why you need to do that. If you look at the top here, you have a switch. This is a commonly referred to as a clutch safety switch or a clutch neutral switch. And uh, if you look, you can see this little black uh, button and that's all it is, is a button. And you can press it in and it comes out. You can press it in and it comes out. When you press your clutch pedal down, this button gets pressed in and when you release it, it comes out. Goes in and out. So many cars, uh, even up until the early uh, 90s, didn't have a clutch safety switch. So really, what is the purpose of this? When you start your car, you put your shifter in neutral, you press your clutch to the floor, you start the car. You let out your clutch, and it is running. Before this switch, uh, you could start your car without pressing in your clutch. So if you had your transmission, if you had your gear shifter in first gear, you could start the car and it would shoot forward, crashing into another car or 
crashing into a person. So they put this switch here so that you would have to press your clutch pedal all the way to the floor. Then only could you start the car. Now that doesn't completely solve the problem because you can still start the car in first gear and now your clutch pedal is to the floor. What happens if you release the clutch pedal? The transmission engages, the car shoots forward. So it is, uh, even though it is supposed to help safety, it doesn't completely eliminate the danger. That is why you always start your car in neutral, not in gear. Now, uh, many people learning how to drive, well, you will tell them press the clutch in and then start your car. So they will press the clutch in, try to start the car, but car is not starting. Why is it not starting? Because the clutch is not all the way to the floor. So the proper way to tell someone learning how to drive a manual transmission car is press your clutch to the floor all the way down. That makes contact with the switch, allowing you to start your car. Now, you might get into a used car where this switch has been replaced or fiddled with and it might be out of adjustment. So even though you're pressing the pedal, what you think is all the way to the floor, it might not be contacting that switch. So you got to make sure that you are really pressing that pedal all the way down. Then you will see you can start your car. Another thing that can go wrong is if you have floor mats, very thick uh, winter floor mats, they can stop your clutch pedal from going all the way to the floor or you know making contact with this switch. So if you're having trouble starting your manual transmission car make sure that you don't have uh, anything obstructing the travel of this pedal.